What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as Legionary Romania. Last episode, we actually were successful in kicking the Allies off of the northern um, French coast here. So, Red Group, you're going to be guarding uh, against any other potential invasions that may pop up here. And I'm letting the Germans now surround Brussels and Amsterdam and trying to push on the Americans and British here. Uh, down towards the south, we've also got Purple Group and Blue Group that are fighting their way <laughs> towards Lisbon here and trying to push in as much as possible. Let's see, we just needed to get a new technology going. Uh, we can go with the Centimetric Radar. Very good. Wolf Packs is working. Air Wings with no mission. I've got 200 jet fighters here that I'm going to assign to northern France, and you're just going to work on air superiority in case the Allies decide to um, engage in a bombing run against us over there. Uh, free civilian factories. I've got new military factories that are popping up here uh, left and right. I think improved oil plant. Very good. We've got a trade here. I have a tremendous surplus of oil, aluminum, rubber as a small surplus, and then tungsten uh, steel is looking good. Chromium looking really good too, so we've got all the necessary resources we need for our production lines. New military factory is available, so let's go up and see what is really needed. Yeah, so it's... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug that into Infantry Equipment 3 there. It is January of 1948, which is pretty nuts. This has been a long campaign for us. Uh, we just lost an ace, which sucks. Let's go with Advanced Oil Plant right there. Now, the biggest problem we face at the moment is our manpower shortage. And I guess we could technically... I'm, all, I'm at All Adult Serve at the moment. And let's see... Recruitable population 10%, 20% there. We could go with scraping the barrel, but I want to try to um, I want to try to save some of this manpower if I possibly can. Oh, we've got a huge navy over here waiting. 63 ships. I'm going to give that to him, and I'm going to tell you to go ahead and search and destroy out here in the Mediterranean, the Adriatic, the Central, and then. I will tell you to go to the Tyrrhenian Sea as well, so we'll assign you like that. So my destroyers and subs are going to be out hunting for us. Uh, are there any divisions that we can get rid of, really, to save some of this manpower? Uh, for example, I think this this uh, mountain brigade here is probably useless. So we'll go ahead and disband you. Give me seven extra thousand men. We do hold a large, large chunk of territory, and so every month I can get another 7,000 men. We are we are also recruiting our new tank divisions here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those guys out and cancel the production. So, let's see. We have, for these guys, a little bit of artillery, a little bit of infantry equipment, modern tanks, 400. So these three tank divisions, where are you needed? Down here. I'm going to assign you to Purple Group. There we go. Lisbon has actually been taken, which is awesome. So now I'm going to tell uh, these guys here to go ahead and push towards the coast like this. Uh, that's not good. Delete that offensive line like this. There we are. Okay. So they're going to prepare for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them to go ahead and move forward once uh, they're feeling good about the plan. It looks like we are above 50% here in terms of the overall strength of the plan. Uh, if I can actually pull up the tooltip. We are stronger. And we've got some divisions that are still preparing and divisions that are not in position either. So, we're going to have to wait for that. Uh, seeing a lot of red numbers now here around the front with Germany which is a little disappointing, especially since I've left that up to them to complete. Oh, we've got a big naval battle going on right here uh, with a bunch of American and British subs. And so we should be winning this, I do believe. Okay, they lost 18 sub subs out of this. 
Fantastic. That's awesome. And so he's going to continue down here now and continue hunting these subs wherever he can. What does that do for our naval supremacy? Yeah, we're showing the Adriatic is green right now, so that's good. Proofed rocket engines has finished out. Let's go and finish that right there. We could build rocket interceptors, which I don't know if that's really the best choice or not. Uh, this plan value has a 10% value. Inferior enemy, but we're still preparing. So I've got to wait to see if that guy could potentially get a green check mark. And mainly these tank divisions now rolling in. Oh, new military factories. Awesome. Let's just go ahead and fill this guy up like that. So we're making close to 100 and... What's that? 170 infantry equipments per day. Reinforcements-wise, we're looking good. A lot of our troops are fully supplied and such. I guess we could go ahead and build another nuclear reactor as well. So let's put you up here in Slovenia. Because I have two nuclear reactors now, and I have a nuke that's waiting to be used. The last episode, we actually nuked Galatia up here. The Mexican opposition joined the Allies. Fair enough. All right, this guy's ready to execute his plan. Boom. So hopefully this push will do us well uh, here for Purple Group as we roll in a little bit further. My manpower went up slightly, which is good. We were able to wait another month for more guys to get into the, the fighting force there. I do need some additional steel as well, so let's go ahead and trade for that. I'll grab another one here from the Germans. Perfect. And then a new military factory. Ba, 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 ba. I'm going to plug this into the next jet fighter production line we have going here. That's the only way we're going to break through the, uh, the English Channel. If we chose to attack England or not. Yeah, they have 3,000 fighters here, 900 fighters there, and zero fighters in the Bay of Biscay. We're just making sure the mainland has appropriate air superiority oh and a lot of my um fighters now being that they're actually being shot down here in uh, the eastern mediterranean and so he's got some close air support there fighters from macedonia are working on that so this guy this air wing like this yeah so he needs about 50 fighters there to replenish, which is fine. Um, if we go to the past couple days here, whoops. We've lost 124 fighters. They've lost a ton, though. They've lost a ton, a, a ton, 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 ton of Air Force. And then Brussels here, we haven't been able to crack that yet. 600 fighters sitting over there, which is uh, working against, you know, this is that's really working against the Germans trying to move in on Brussels and Amsterdam. Because they're, they're strategically bombing the hell out of that area. So, jet fighters. We're missing 56. Uh, if we go to air now... Yes, we are working on Jet Fighter 2, so we'll switch that over when it becomes available. But that's not... The, there's still 242 days, so not really till 1950. Okay. And then down here, we're continuing to push, which is great. We've split their forces. I'm going to take this tank division and tell you to mount an offensive. My other guys will join in and hopefully break through there. I've got another tank division here that I'm going to go ahead and tell them to attack. Very good. Down to 118k manpower now. Missing equipment production. Oh, fighter ones. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and check our... 2.83 million men I've lost. More than Japan. That That's how much we've helped in this world war. It's pretty crazy. Now finally starting to see some green numbers out of the Germans over here. That's fantastic. How are we looking on frontline supply there? 57k men. 53,000 men. Now going into the fight. Okay, cool. So we've got several pockets now here. I will take this tank division and tell you to lead that. And then tank division here. 
19 divisions. We're going to try to kick them off of the Iberian Peninsula. Once we do this, we've got we've to make ask ourselves some tough questions. I'm probably going to pull back these army groups altogether until uh, we can regenerate some manpower. Because the allies are actually pushing again up here. If I zoom out, eh, it doesn't give me a total. We've got, we know of 20 divisions up there. Awesome. Wolf packs have done. Done researching. So now we've got them down over here, pinned, pinned down in the corner. Goodness. Okay. Where are my tank divisions? Over here. Uh, is that none? Is that, is that what I'm seeing? We're going to tell the three tank divisions that are moving in here to mount an attack this way. If we can take that naval port first, that'll trap all of these guys over here with no supply and we can overrun them completely. Okay, I see a lot of bombers coming in now. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here known of. Huh. And I think they're probably trying to bomb the hell out of us, which makes sense. That's only seen as a 24 here and in the green. So we'll move the tank divisions up and have them spearhead this attack. These guys should be overrun. They cannot run because there is no naval base for them to go to. Look at that. Boom. Got it. All right, let's pause and reevaluate. So... The Iberian Peninsula is safe. The Allies breaking out once again up here, which I hate to see. So I hate to admit it, but we need to bring in reinforcements here and help the Germans because they can't do this themselves. Okay, we're going to tell them that their new front line is going to be right there. So I'm going to let them go ahead and reposition. I'm going to also assign them a new offensive line up here at Brussels. So we can try to push through that. All right, let's go ahead and put it up to speed four and let those guys move on over. New military factories available, so gonna continue here, plugging those into jet fighter production. Uh, air doctrines now, we've pretty much got all of these. Tactical bomber, strategic bombing, plus 10%, strategic bombing, interception detection. So let's work on these down to get that better interception detection going. Down to 103k manpower now. Uh, they're they're pushing so far into France yet again that my red group now is being sort of pushed back from their garrison orders. I'm gonna need for yeah this blue group. You're gonna go ahead and garrison the coast for us along here in Spain, which sounds good just to have some patrols there available because we're going to need to let Republican Spain and R Blue Shirt Portugal regain some manpower, build out some divisions. They have zero divisions currently, so I don't know if they're out completely out of manpower or what, but they're trying to work on that. So, uh, these guys now rolling into place, my purple group. And we're still going to be preparing this offensive order here, so we're going to wait till he gets the green check, and then we will go ahead and storm across their front lines and try to take them from the south. Fighters now, we're up to plus 15 now in storage. So let's check on the Mediterranean piece here that we were looking at. Okay, still showing 50 fighters up here, but they have 300 bombers. What's their efficiency? 84%, that's decent. Free civilian factories now. Let's go ahead and pump out some more military factories where we can. Gotta get that fighter production up. And I, I still have plenty of civilian factories there to use for trade. So we need some more tungsten. Tungsten, China's given me a ton of tungsten, which is great. There we are. That helps out the production lines even further. All right, we're seeing at least some green now across this front. Some divisions still not in position. We've got an inferior enemy here. The plan value is not very good. 
division still preparing. Or at least in position now. And when I'm going to wait for this ticker here, you can see inferior enemy. All right, go. We had the green check. So we're going to roll on through now. Got my three tank divisions here. They're looking to move in on this position. So that's going to eat up the rest of my manpower pretty significantly. Let's go ahead and see what scraping the barrel does for us again. Factory output minus 40% versus minus 30% right now. Construction speed minus 40%. Training time is big as well. Damn. That's tough. I guess a new month yet yeah, when April just rolled off. So manpower regenerated slightly there, bringing me back over 100K. So 105K now. And the good news is my 31 divisions now have got the allies on the run. They're on the run, guys. Looking good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.